everyone welcome back to my channel this is day five of me trying to catch up with cleaning so today i am going to do the living room and as you can see i am also sorting out the recycle by me it's so easy for the trash to pile up i can't even explain it i can just put a trash bag out right now and later on it's full again Sometimes I question myself, where did all this trash come from? I'm like, I don't understand. But you know, we are seven people living in here. So we use a lot of stuff and I cook, we drink. So that's why I know, but I'm telling you, it's so easy for the trash to get out of control. It can be overwhelming. And welcome to my super messy living room. As you can see, it's a total disaster. I received a few things for my business and my husband also received a few orders. We neatly put the boxes in the hallway so we can take them outside. And guess what? My two younger ones, they started to play with the boxes. They tried to lay down inside the boxes and they just rip the box apart and right now it's a total mess and you can also see the caution from this chair on the floor because my kid said that my three years old took pleasure to just rip the chair apart the chair just had a little cut and it just made it that big so now i have to put the chair to the garbage by me it is always like that you can check the place and you see that oh it's not bad it's clean it's clean and then when you come back it's messy we just opened few boxes and we neatly organize i can say the trash and this is what he did i was upstairs my husband was upstairs and he was in the living room and when we came back, it was like that. So welcome to my reality. That's my life. Cleaning after your children can be very overwhelming. I used to be very stressed about it. Like when you clean a place and then you come back, you see that it's dirty again. I used to be so overwhelmed and stressed. Just looking at the place was enough for me to have a bad day. But right now, I prepare myself for that. I built a defensive shield just to protect me so I can control myself and just accept my reality. Don't get me wrong, accepting this reality for now doesn't mean that I'm not looking for solution. I am looking for solutions and I'm trying different methods to see if I can keep the place organized and clean, but I've learned not to be stressed about it. I think that this is one of the mistakes that I was doing before, like not accepting my reality. You need to know yourself and know the people around you. When you know the people around you, you know what to expect. And because you know what to expect, you're not going to be surprised when you see it. You are just going to work to see if you can change what you don't like. To live with less stress, there is a work you have to get done in your mental. You need to stop denying your present and work to have a better future. I stopped stressing myself about cleaning because I already know what it is. I already know that I can clean my house right now and I come back and I see that it's messy again. Why is that? Because I have two little kids. You know, I know that to keep the home clean, I have to be cleaning after them. So that's my reality. That's my present for now. So to live with less stress, you need to know the people around you. You need to know what to expect. You need to know yourself as well. A lot of us have anxiety because we keep picturing ourselves living in a home that doesn't belong to us. You are picturing yourself living like a minimalist, but you are not a minimalist. 
you are picturing yourself living inside a home that doesn't have toy, that doesn't have stuff on the floor, and you have little children, you have babies. This is not a good start. That's why sometimes we are so stressed because we are denying our reality. We are denying our present. So by me now, I know what to expect. I know that my home can be clean now and my home can be messy in a second. So I know that now. And because I know it, I'm not going to have anxiety because I see that it's messy again. This is what I call a defensive shield, a protective shield, so I can be strong mentally. This protection will stop you from being overwhelmed. This is day six. On day six, my goal was to finish with the laundry. I wanted to do the laundry so bad, but I didn't have food. That day, I had to cook a quick dinner. As you can see, I'm making some steak. And then I also prepared some broccoli, like steamed broccoli. And after that, I prepared a pasta. That was a very quick dinner. I prepared this meal in about 45 minutes and i have to say that as well i was cooking and i was cleaning after myself cleaning as you go is the best and easiest way to keep the kitchen clean after i cooked dinner i used to have a lot of dirty dishes like a lot of dirty pots a lot of dirty bowls and plates right now i try to see if i can keep the mess under control by cleaning as i go it's easy and it's quick you're not even gonna realize how much dishes you got done and after you finish with dinner everything gonna be as normal you see you're just gonna have few plates to wash you're just gonna have to do your normal daily cleaning so if you're not already doing that i recommend you to try to clean as you go your life gonna be easier so now i am going to do the laundry this is the second clean basket that i have if you didn't watch day one to four please check it out i will leave a link in the description box for you yeah so i am gonna do the laundry and as you can see i still have the load in the dryer because i didn't i didn't fold them yet yeah i didn't want to put them in the basket to add more clothes so i kept everything in the dryer and right now i am gonna try to finish with the second basket That day I was so motivated to finish with what I have in the second basket and what I had in the dryer 
but I had to stop because my husband had to go do something in Roosevelt Island in Manhattan so I had to stop the laundry and I went there with him with all the kids When I came back home, I still had to deal with the rest of the laundry. And I'm telling you, it was about 10, 28 p.m. And I was like, nah, I'm not going to fold what I have in the dryer. I am just going to put what I fold away. And that's it. I will finish it tomorrow. My goal was to do the laundry that I have in the dryer. So the first thing that I got done the next day was the laundry because having the clean clothes in the dryer was stopping me from doing more laundry. You got it, right? Because the dryer is not empty, I can't wash new things. And remember, I didn't finish with the laundry yet, but every day I have more dirty laundry to do because it's a never ending thing <laughs> yeah so I didn't have no choice I had to get it done one thing I know about my home is that we always have dirty laundry remember we are a family of seven and one thing I also know about myself is that when the laundry piled up I can't really do it so that's why I try my best to keep up. As I told you earlier in this video, it's good to know yourself and to know the people around you so you can know what to expect. And knowing yourself and the people around you, not denying your present, is the only way you can look for a solution and also search for a prevention method. In my case, I realized that doing the laundry as often as possible is my best way to prevent the laundry from piling up. You know, for some people, letting the laundry pile up is not a problem because it's easy for them whenever they're ready to just get up and fold it. For me, it's not easy. When I see it there, I can't even start. So that's why for me is just to do the laundry as often as possible. I also realized something that has changed everything when it comes to laundry. Never push a work that you have to get done because you didn't finish with one thing. For example, if you have to do your laundry and your closet is not organized, just do the laundry and put it in the closet just the way it is. Okay, don't push it. Don't say, oh, let me organize the closet first. And then after I finish to organize the closet, I am going to do the laundry. If you are just like me, you will never get it done. That was one of the problem that I had when I had the big laundry piled up for months because I had to do so much to prep for the laundry. I never got it done. Maybe for some people, that's not a solution. But if you are just like me, practicing this will help you finish with your work. Even if you want to do your closet, you want to organize your closet, never say, I'm not going to fold laundry until I organize my closet, okay? If you never have the energy to do it, you will end up having both the closets and a bunch of laundry to do. So if you can do your laundry now, just do it and put it in your closet just the way it is. In other words, never push yourself to do too much. If you keep doing that, when you already know you can't, you will end up having too much to do and you will not get nothing done. Right now, I'm finally done with the laundry. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to see if I can really sweep and mop the whole place 
because you know since the beginning if you pay close attention I didn't really mop yet because my focus was not even mopping my focus was really to try to put everything back on the control finish with the laundry and then clean so right now I'm going to mop After I mop the floor, I can say that I am really done. Not done cleaning my home because I didn't really clean my room. I didn't clean the kids' room this week because that was not really my focus for real. My goal for this week was really to try to put everything back on track. The bedrooms could wait another week. That's why I was like, let me just finish to clean the kitchen a living room to try to finish with the laundry and then next week i can also clean the bedrooms and i also have a lot of declutter to do especially on my three years old closet oh you can't even see this because it's so full with stuff and there is a lot of the clothes that are too small so i really have to take the time to go through everything and donate some of the stuff you saw that right i tackled the mess in the living room yesterday when i came here to map i already saw a towel there i saw some shoes and i was like i am not going to pick nothing up i'm gonna call them i do that very often right now that's one of the things i do to keep the house less messy I make sure everyone cleans their own mess. So you messed up the place, you clean it. I'm not gonna call another person to help me do it. I make sure I call the person who did it. So now they know mommy is not going to just pick everything up for me. Okay, mommy is not gonna help me. If I make the mess, I have to clean it. So I'm trying to put that in their head so after i'm done let me just do it if not they're gonna call me to do it and i'm not gonna give up because i know that over time it will become a second nature for them what is hard for them to do now will become easy that was my daily struggle to catch up and this is a before and after comparison i'm gonna try to show you how everything was from day one to day seven i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you didn't watch day one to day four please check it out i will put a link in the description box for you 
and if you are watching and you're not a subscriber please don't forget to subscribe i will greatly appreciate it and also don't forget to leave your comment as i always say your comment may be exactly what someone else needed and remember your comments are also motivating me because some days i wake up and i see some beautiful comments i'm telling you it helps me a lot i love it so please leave your comments because they are motivating me and they are also encouraging me i want to also say thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for watching i really hope that you like the video i really hope that you found the motivation you needed i want to leave you with these words learn to know yourself learn to know the people around you and learn to know what to expect don't deny your reality but accept your present and work to have a better future don't give up remember that the change is possible at the right time you will find the right method for you and your family so never stop trying remember that it's okay to make some mistakes remember that it's okay if you have to start over remember that you will never be perfect it's okay if you are not doing it perfectly but what you can't do is giving up you can't give up because if you give up you will never be able to see the result that you want to see okay so keep trying and i know that you will get there thank you so so much for watching i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye